Hi guys, Deborah here and today I'm giving you a look at my craft room. So I'm sitting on a chair and I'm looking at the entry door. That's the grey door on the right hand side that you can see. And this is a built in cupboard that was already here. Although I have taken a couple of shelves out of it since my last craft room tour last year. So let's go through it shall we. Up in the top left hand corner you can see I've got my bicycle basket with the helmet and also some bubble wrap. On the next shelf I've got a bunch of plastic folders and a couple of other things. I'll talk about that later. The next one holds some supplies and I'm going to go through a couple of those in future videos. And then there's a set of drawers and that's where I keep my hats and my shoes and things like that. In the next section I've removed some of the built-in shelving and I've added some wire racking in there. On the top of that wire racking I've got some photo frames there for a project I haven't yet done. I've got a box of boxes and some other boxes up there there for sending things out and also I've got some journals and other tubs there and I've put a piece of my artwork on the front of that. And then if we look at the wire racking itself the first thing you're probably noticing is that everything is in colour order. I don't like to have things that are messy so I've sorted these tubs. I got them from Costco. They come in a packet of four I think, all different colours and they were really really cheap but I've sorted them into colour grouping. So the ones I got came in orange, white with orange closures, the pink and the green. And the other clear tubs you see there I got from a cheap shop and I've had them for absolutely ages but they're very handy size as well. So I store a lot of things in these and I've just gone through them all recently, resorted them and I've also labelled them. You can see there's a number of empty ones, that's because I got rid of a whole heap of stuff. I either sold it or I de-stashed it in other ways. I've created some labels for the front of them. These are just done with the A4 label sheets that you get from Officeworks and the beauty of those is if you don't like what you've put on them, printing another one is really easy. Once you've had your initial purchase, which I think they're around the $25 to $30 mark for a, a packet of 100 labels, you can just reprint them if you like. The only thing I don't like about them is I can't seem to get them straight on the tubs, but I'll work on that later. I also had initially done them in a different font, the labels, but I couldn't read them from my chair. So now I've redone most of them in a larger font that I can read when I'm sitting at my table crafting and I can just spin around. In the next section I have some photos stored in two boxes down the bottom. The other thing I wanted to mention about this is it's a shelf that I've made from a couple of drawers. I had a very heavy set of drawers and I knocked the backs of them out and I made a little shelf to put into this space and on there I put my plastic photo um, holders. Above that is the standard IKEA shelf. I redid that last year. And then I've got some other boxes which are actually switching to tubs. And then the bag is a bag I got in Germany and it holds all of my cloth bags for shopping and things like that. Then in the next one, I've got a little fridge down the bottom. I'm thinking about getting rid of that because I don't use it that much. And then I've got some orange fold, um, plastic containers. They're the orange ones. They're also the Costco ones. To the left of both of those, I've got those divided storage containers that you can get at Costco, um, sorry, at Spotlight. And I will be going through there. And then on the top shelf, I've got some white plastic containers. Now these actually came from Spotlight. They're a bit bigger than the ones from Costco and they, fit a 12 by 12 which the ones from Costco don't and then above that I've got some um, stuffing that I use for my cushion making. So you can see here that I have things that are called WIP which is work in progress. I'm used to that term, we used it a lot when I was working in IT so they're different things that are work in progress. I've also got some scrapbooking scraps and some um, vintage items I have to go through. I recommend you sort your stuff how you think of it. When I was going through mine, I found a whole heap of system cards that I didn't know that I had so many, so I've devoted a tub to that. 
also lots of playing cards and the one called special items they're things that I know are special it won't mean anything to anyone else but it does to me and then the next shelf I've sorted using things like envelopes bags tags holiday ephemera now the holiday ephemera one will go away once I've used all that holiday ephemera in my junk journal so now we'll have a look at some of the tubs of they're bright orange so they are quite in your face but uh, first of all I wanted to do the measurement for you so if you do see these in Costco they will say that they are 12 inches oh, sorry I'll just get that in shot for you and I guess technically they are 12 inches however they're really not because you can't fit a 12 by 12 piece of paper in them so if that's what you want for um, them for you can't do that so this is the one that I've called envelopes and no surprise it's full of envelopes so I sort things how I can use them so when I want an envelope I'll go and get them that doesn't matter if it's a glassine envelope or if it's an envelope with string ties or these are little baby glassine ones a paper envelope that's like that this one is a CD or actually it's not it's an old piece um, it's an old card it came off a card somebody gave me I've got some yellow envelopes these are thrifted envelopes colored envelopes I don't store my large um, postage envelopes in here this is all for crafting so anything that says that to me that it's an envelope it all goes into this one bag these are these are the CD envelopes I knew I had some somewhere so if I'm looking for an envelope, this is where I would look. Mini envelopes, all sorts of things are in here. So that's why I put my envelopes into this particular tub. Because when I'm wanting them, I know that if I go here, this is where I'm going to find them. The next one that we're looking at is thing called bags. Now, of course, it holds bags. And again, I want to show you. These are little lolly bags. I've got brown paper bags. I've got bag, bags that I have salvaged, I've got new bags, these are some more salvage bags from different things. Anything that is a bag will go in here. Now this is a crossover so I have to work out, I think that's an envelope, I'll move it to the envelope one. These are all bags, I've got some more bags in there. So I know for me that I'll go to my bag bucket when I need a bag. And this one is my tags. So, love tags, and I have quite a few of them. I've got little tags here, manila tags. I've got these ones here, which are alteration tags. All sorts of tags. Doesn't matter what colour they are, most of mine are manila. I've got some brown ones, smaller brown ones there. Anything that's a tag. I've even got these ones here, which oh, there's a one that I've stamped on, and so I've put it into the tag. I've got these ones, which I got when I was overseas. They're like a wedding tag, but I thought that they were a really cool shape, and I like the number. So I put them, and they go in here. So that is my bag, or my tub of tags. This tub here is for my wooden stamps and I don't have that many wooden stamps left anymore. I did get rid of probably 50 of them when I had a sale last year. I wanted to get rid of them and I just sold them all on Facebook but I do have some still. I probably will get rid of a couple more of these. I've got some stamping up stamps. I've got my favourite Tim Holtz stamp and some little round postmarks and things like that and these block stamps which I find very very handy they're a Lucy stamp those ones this one is um, Stampers Anonymous and it's just a head so all of my stamps my wooden stamps I put into this particular tub and then in this one this is tissue paper so this is my collaging tissue paper I've got plain tissue in here I haven't even opened that I've got some tissues from serviettes I've got my Jane Davenport tissue paper plain again and then I've also got things like this one that I purchased I haven't used that yet I do have a project in mind for that one and I've got all of my um, Dina Wakely tissue papers are in here the collage papers from Dina Wakely Media 
and oh, I've got, oh, that was not, I was doing something with that. Anything like that, even if they're words, if they're a tissue paper, they all go into this particular box. And then this one here is my Tim Holtz stamps. And with this one, I actually have stamps stored in a number of places, but I put my Tim Holtz ones, that's all I've got for the moment, unless I get some more and then I'll have to rethink that because they just fit into this tub. So these are just the ones that are big. I know that they've got uh, holes punched at the side, so I could put them in a binder. I've never been really fond of binders though, so I'm probably not going to do that. Got the professor there, this one. So these are all my favourite stamps, and all of them are Tim Holtz, nothing else. Well, Stamp is anonymous, but Tim Holtz collection. So they all live in that because often I will do things and I will mix these up or interchange them and that's why I've put them all into the one tub. And then I've just got two more that I'm gonna take you through today and then that's probably enough. I won't take you through all of them, but this is one that I've called botanicals. So I've started to, when I pull things out of books or even the book itself, anything that has got these flowers and botanicals on it go into this tub. Now, the reason that I have not used a square tub is because these larger papers don't fit. Remember I was saying that that tub from Costco is not 12 by 12? Well, this is the problem. I can't fit those in there. Luckily, or I could if I folded them, but I don't want to fold them. Luckily, I have these tubs, which as I said, I got at a cheap shop years ago and I have many of them. I have small and large and what I liked about these and still like is that two small make a large so they sit at the same height when you put two on top of one another. And just the work in progress. So this is work in progress and this is my home journal because it says WIP home and that was what I was keeping it in. So this is one of the journals that I've currently got on the go. It's not finished in that I'm still working my way through it and putting information and stuff in it. But I am put it in here for now because this is the old one that I've been working from and I didn't want to separate them. So I put them both into the one tub and I've got this old flower bag that it normally lives in if I have to take it somewhere. And so I've put that in there. Other work in progress, I hold what I need to make the item in that one tub. I will show you just one more because this is not a Costco tub. This is my work in progress Georgia Blue. Now Georgia Blue is the paper range, but this is a tub from Spotlight. So I've got larger tubs that I'll show you in another video, but this one here is a true 12 by 12. So it will actually fit your 12 by 12 papers in it. This is my Georgia Blue, which I've been making. I've already made something out of these papers. They're absolutely beautiful, but I've still got all of this left over from that range of paper and I've started to make signatures for another journal. So all of this goes in here. So this is the stuff I've been using in the journal. There's another signature and I've left it in here and marked it as Georgia Blue so that I know where to look for it when I'm looking for it. Now, yeah, they are a trick to, I was just testing, but yes, so this is a, this is an 11.69, so I'm not sure that these will fit a 12 by 12. Just let me grab a piece of paper and I'll check it for you. This is a piece of white 12 by 12. It's a basil, so I know that it's a true book 12 by 12. And yeah, it does fit actually. Oh, I know what the problem is. This is 11.69 high, but that doesn't include the piece at the top. So it's actually taller than that. See that um, strip that's at the top? That's why it was struggling to fit, yeah. And so it will fit an A4 and it will also fit a true 12 by 12 piece of paper. So they're from Spotlight, but I guess you have to look at your cost. The ones from Costco, I think we've got, I think pretty sure there were four or maybe five in the pile. And if you go to Costco, I don't know if they still have them. They had them for months and months and months and they came in a set and I think from memory they're around the $25 for the lot but they had a big special on with 30 or 40 percent off so I got them really really cheap which is why I didn't mind buying them 
and it was actually my daughter who bought the first few lots for me and came home with them and I was like oh they're lovely but they don't fit the 12 by 12 but that's okay because I work in a lot of other sizes and also I as you can see I have other things that I need to store so this one here from Spotlight it will fit that and in another video I'll show you the larger ones and I'll measure those up for you so this one here on the internal so from there to there is 12 inches just let me move that over so you can get full view there you go and the other way I think it might be a tiny bit bigger but anyway the problem with that of course is that they don't stack well with the different sizes so I keep all of these together and if I have to I take the label off and I will move it to a different one if it fits better I've been reorganizing the craft room as I said and I don't mind doing that I probably will move a few more because just for convenience of where I want them and if it's in a green one and I don't want it on that top shelf I might put it in a white one so it's on the bottom shelf just because I like my supplies to organize I don't like to see my supplies when I'm working I like them tucked away and that's just how I prefer to work so if you are like that then these things are a good idea that's it for now and I will be coming back with more videos showing you how I organize and store my supplies and also take you further around the craft room so you can have a look at it in 2020 because I've made a few changes all right this is Deborah thanks for watching as always cheers